Admiral Seabass here, French turn, Global 40, first turn, no money to spend. Did decide to bring these guys down. Um, French have the advantage. I think the Allies, to be fair, would want to do this. Um, these French boats are somewhat expendable. Running them out here to the Atlantic or down here, well, I couldn't run them down there because Italy's ships are in the way. Running them out there just seems kind of silly when... If you take out um, this Italian Navy here, you put the, set the Italians back at least a turn, giving the Brits a chance to get a factory going down here and units rolling this way to help protect Africa. So I think this makes all kinds of sense. So let's go ahead and roll this. Um, by the way, that's a French cruiser and a French destroyer because I ran out of destroyer pieces. They're all in my Global War 36 setup at my buddy's house. So um, that's going to be... For the French, um, two and a three, which with these uh, grasshopper hit dice right there. So um, they need two hits. Uh, submarine doesn't get a surprise strike since there's a French destroyer. So let's see what the French can do. And they got one hit. So uh, Italians will lose the sub. And then uh, Italian destroyer and sub shooting back at the French Navy. And there's one hit. So one hit each, which means oh, interesting. Well, the Italians had to choose first, so they chose the sub, which gives the French cover to pick the destroyer. So now it's a French cruiser against an Italian destroyer. Italy really just needs to get a hit here, even if they lose um, their destroyer. So uh, here's the French cruiser. Miss. Big roll here in the Mediterranean. Here is the Italian destroyer. Oh. Oh. Well, I still think it was the right call. And it's not like the Italian, the British can't come in here and try to finish off the Italian destroyer and the transport. But big win there by the Italian Navy. Uh, big, big win. So, yeah, that makes the Brits have a lot more interesting decisions in terms of how aggressive they're going to play. They can get both of those destroyers in there uh, and the fighter. So... Uh, maybe the French just can't open this can here, and that's all we should expect them to do. So, anyway, um, for the French non-combat moves, I've been sort of toying around with some different things. Um, I think I'll move this French guy here. Um, kind of want to leave those in place. Um I'm going to move the Syria guy down to Transjordan just because, oh sorry, control Syria guy from here to here just because I uh, don't want the Italians to be able to come in and take Transjordan and shut down the Suez. Uh, this destroyer, I'm going to move one, two up to here. Uh, I don't know what to do with these guys. <clears throat> I kind of rather, would rather Germany have to go take more to Normandy than southern France because Germany's going to have be able to put boats in the Med in turn three if they take southern France. So I kind of rather... But they can take both of them if they want to, so maybe it doesn't matter. I'll just leave them both where they are. I'm going to leave all that stuff up there too. So, yeah, that's the end of the French turn. And... I think they still collect money, right? Or do they not? Let me check that. Never mind. Uh, confirmed. Uh, if your capital's under control, you can't collect income. So, um, that's it for the French turn. Uh, in Global War 36, the French can still collect income even when their capital's taken over. So, in fact, they can move their capital. So, I just had to check that. All right. That is it for turn one. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, Germany gets to spend a big stack of cash to start an next turn, so it'll be fun to see what happens. Admiral Seabass out.